in this lecture we'll discuss about verilog data flow style coding in verilog data flow style coding there can be two types implicit data flow explicit data flow okay i will explain both and we'll do design coding and we'll do test bench coding also for example i will take a half adder for that i will do design and i will do test bench also so that we can verify the functionality of this uh, half adder design okay i will show you the basic model of test bench so this is the first lecture who ever started learning very log this is the first lecture you have to see okay after doing coding i will execute the code and i will explain the output very clearly very detailed so this is the must lecture everyone has to see okay whoever started coding they have to see compulsorily and whoever already know coding they also have to see because you will know some new point in this new points okay right so first uh, we'll do design coding first i will do with uh, explicit then we'll do with implicit okay here you can see the title explicit data flow style for half adder okay i will tell you why it is called as data flow why it is explicit everything i will tell okay so any very log code whether it is a design code or whether it is a test bench code again in the design code it can be any style whatever it may be every very log code start with a keyword module and end with a keyword end module okay here you can see this red brown color words are keywords okay so this code design started with module and ended with end module as a good programming practice after writing module immediately write end module because sometimes you will forget to code end module line you will run the code and you will get the error tool will tell you forget that and you will type it and again you will run it it will waste your time na so type module end module and come in between and do remaining part of the code that's good okay so after every keyword in very log whether it is a design code test bench code whatever it may be you have to maintain space after each keyword at least one space or more space also okay what is the reason suppose here if i don't give space it will become like a module ha there is no module ha keyword in the very log so module definition keyword definition is changing na if you don't maintain space so you have to maintain space after every keyword okay if you have idea about what are the keywords so you can automatically mention maintain space after every keyword okay so better you maintain space after every word that's a better idea okay right so this is the module keyword then space then i what i wrote ha so i am doing half adder it doesn't mean for half adder the module name should be half adder ha like that it can be different name any name but you have to follow some guidelines or rules to give the module names see here this h is the first character it should not be a number 0 to 9 but you can use numbers or numerals 0 to 9 for later characters later means not at first okay okay and you can use small letters a to z you can use capital letters a to z and you can use underscore also they can use as first characters also no problem okay by following these rules you can create your own module name any module name and after module name you have to use normal bracket and it has to close and it has to end with semicolon okay in this bracket what you have to write you have to write the port list so before doing this coding you should be ready with these details what details you have to draw the block diagram or schematic of the design whatever the design you want to code i am telling block diagram not logic diagram 
so this block diagram tells what are the inputs and what are the outputs or what is what are the port list so these are inputs i assumed as a b and these are the outputs these should be some carry so this all ports external connections are ports i can list in the port list okay so now a b s c are the ports i listed this order no matter you can start with a or you can start with b you can start with yes order no matter but you have to include all the ports and this there are multiple ports you have to use uh, comma to separate them okay so this second line is called a statement in very log any line ended with semicolon is called a statement okay suppose if you see sixth line there is no semicolon it is not a statement okay right now after this uh, second line you have to do three fourth lines this three and fourth lines are called port declaration this is called only port list this is called port declaration it means why you need to do port declaration in this you listed all the ports but you have not mentioned which one are inputs which one are outputs so you have to declare them which one are inputs which one are outputs so to declare the input ports the keyword is input and you have to maintain space of the keyword after keyword and what are the input ports here a b there are multiple ports so you use comma to separate them and at the ending semicolon don't use bracket here and yes comma c are the output ports this is the keyword for output ports okay right so now even for in out ports there can be some in and out ports bidirectional ports for that also there is a keyword like in out okay so in the data flow style for input or output or for in out ports you won't get any reg data type you always have to use wire data type but here wire data type is not visible if anything is not mentioned as a reg data type any variable that will become tool will take as wire by default and this is applicable to only ports not to other variables not to internal variables or temporary variables those you have to clearly mention okay right i am telling with respect to data flow style not with other styles okay so in the data flow input output and in out ports are wire type you can either explicitly mention the data type as wire or you can if you don't mention they will take as implicit okay right now uh after this uh, third and fourth line what you have to do you have to do fifth line this fifth line is called continuous agent statement okay so in this fifth line what i wrote initially i wrote the keyword assign if you write the keyword assign clearly this is called explicit if you don't write this keyword this is this will become this code will become implicit okay this only de decides whether it is implicit or explicit data flow okay so here with assign what you have to write you have to write the statement boolean equations so you have to ready with the boolean equations when you writing this uh, data flow style so what are the equations sum equal to a x r b carry equal to a and b in the concept we do like this symbol but in the coding this x r will represented by cap symbol this and operation represented by ampersand okay so how can you get these equations either from true table either from logic diagram okay this is the true table of a half adder when all inputs are zero sum zero carry zero when both inputs are one carry will one sum zero it is with respect to two input i am telling and when any one input is one sum will become one carry will become zero so this is the expression for sum this is the for carry or from this uh, logic diagram also we can get and this uh, expressions are if i write like cap and ampersand they will become like bit wise operator expressions i can write to like this also 
because ultimately this half header performing arithmetic operation you can do like this also a plus b this is with arithmetic operator sum will be a plus b carry also will be a plus b both okay right so you have to be ready with all these details okay now why it is called continuous agent statement continuous agent statement means and particularly explicit continuous agent statement without a delay suppose this uh, left hand this statement left hands right hand side part will be evaluated and immediately after evaluation it will assign to this uh, left hand side variables if it is evaluating and immediately updating or assigning the result to this uh, variables that is called continuous it is not waiting okay that is called continuous and here you are using as an clearly so explicit continuous agent statement if you don't use any as an here in place of this as an if you use where it will become implicit this uh, equation will remain same and i wrote this equation with uh, arithmetic operator you can do with uh, bitwise operator so i will show you later okay so later this uh, we have to use end module okay so as per syntax uh, here you can use wire s comma c without this fifth line also it will work but uh, as per syntax it's uh, good to follow what i did you copy paste this fourth line and uh, replace this output keyword with wire okay so whatever the outputs that you will mention as wire even you don't mention they are implicitly wire only but here you are explicitly mentioning they are wire as per syntax i am telling okay why wire here whatever the statement left hand side variable they will become they always wire in the data flow whether it is a implicit or explicit that is the rule okay i hope you understood this uh, explicit data flow style syntax first we have to write module then board declaration then wire this is fixed in any data flow any data flow means explicit okay in implicit this fifth line won't be there suppose same code this is explicit if you remove fifth line and if you remove replace this as n with wire it will become implicit that's it okay now we'll go to test bench code here i'm telling a basic test bench code there are some other test bench codes some other models but in the test bench there are no styles like behavioral data flow like that so this is the basic test bench but this is not the best test bench that's why we went to other best test benches and of course this test bench has their own advantages compared to other test benches okay so when you started initially it's good to start test bench with manual inputs and dollar display and with initial block and with order port list okay we can do another in other ways but as a learner starter you start with this i suggest okay i will tell what is manual input what is this initial order port list everything i will tell okay so in the test bench initially what you have to do you have to include the design code for that the keyword is back code include it is a compiler direct to keyword i told keywords will be in brown color but oh, this compiler direct to keywords and system task keywords dollar display dollar time these will be in this color these are keywords but in this color okay so after this keyword you have to maintain space and you have to use a double quote and you have to write the file name of the design with dot v extension what is the file name of the design see here december 11 dot v on that day i did this code that's why that name you can keep any name to the file okay so here you have to write the file name with extension for very log either for design or test bench the extension is dot v okay right after this you have to start coding so 
this is the test bench code it is also very log code it also start with module and end with end module and after module you have to maintain space and you have to write the module name this module name is a test bench module name and previous module name is the design module name half adder so here why i wrote tb as module name it no need to be tb you can write any name for example i taken tb and it uh, has to end with semicolon here there is no port list in the test bench there should be port list in the design code there should not be any port list in the test bench code why there is no port list in the test bench code i will tell the reason so what i did now i am writing my test bench code and in this test bench code i included my design code after inclusion i have to generate some inputs from the test bench and i will send that inputs to design and i will take output from the design only so design only getting inputs and design only giving outputs but nobody we are not giving any inputs to the test bench and we are not giving any we are not taking any outputs from the test bench that's why always design contain port list test bench won't contain any port list that's the reason okay all right and the purpose of this backward include to include a file into another file we including design file in the test bench file that is only the purpose of this uh, include compiler directive there is no other purpose okay so now this uh, line completed now you just copy paste this uh, design code port declaration three four lines copy and paste here in the fifth fifth and sixth lines you replace that input keyword with reg and output keyword with where that's it it means the inputs in the design will become reg in the test bench the outputs in the design will become wire in the test bench okay you know we write test bench generally mostly to verify the design functionality so in this case i am verifying the off header design functionality that's why i wrote in that case you will get this regent wire but sometimes without design also we, we write test bench in that case that is not meant to verify the design that is some other purpose in that case you may not get these things you may get some other variable declaration okay and when you verifying the design along with this you may get some other variable declaration also if you use any other variables except these variables if you use any other variables you have to mention here here also okay in this case we are not using anything okay right so now after this you have to connect to test bench and dut this is test bench and dut connection and we can also call instantiation why we need to connect see here in this diagram so i have to generate inputs from the test bench and i have to send to the design if there is no connection how can this connectivity happen if how can this inputs can go so there should be a connection and even when you taking outputs also there should be a connection for this we have to connect this is nothing but instantiation okay so this is including this is instantiation and integrating okay all right so here what is the syntax you have to write the module name of the design whatever the design module you want to instantiate that module name i used their hna that i wrote and after this you have to maintain space it is not a keyword but why you need to maintain space if you don't maintain space it will become like a hadut there is no hadut uh, module name so to maintain it as ha as module name you have to maintain the space and after this space you have to give instance name this is called instance name you are instantiating when you instantiated you have to give the instance name why i given as dut you can give any name no problem but this is compulsory instance name and after this instance name you have to maintain normal bracket and it has to end with semicolon in this bracket what you have to write you have to write the port list of the design so you just copy this port list and you paste here just paste here so that order should be there if you writing according to position or order port connection you have to maintain same order there i wrote first a here first a 
that's why you copy paste when you writing with port order okay i can do with uh, named also in that case you no need to maintain order that syntax will be different but initially when you started coding you start with this port connection by position or order later you can do with the name okay this port connection also come in the structural design code this is the test bench code we are discussing structural design code also port connection by order will come and name also will come that when we go to structural we'll see that okay now du to t to be connection tb connection completed now what we have to do now we have to generate the inputs in the test bench why i need to generate inputs suppose see this uh, design code in the design code you have told the functionality only when i give when i do a plus b that result has to go to carry it has to do a plus b you are telling the functionality but you are not giving any values so for this half header how many possibilities how many inputs two inputs so how many input combinations two square four four means so two input means that four combinations each combination will be in two bit binary 00011011 so who will that uh, who will give that inputs we have to give in the test bench we don't give input combinations or inputs in the design code we tell only the functionality here here we have told the functionality to check whether this functionality working fine or not verify we have to give the inputs okay that's why we have to generate the inputs from the test bench for that input generation we need a procedural block we always generate inputs in the procedural block again that procedural block can be initial or always i told initially when you started coding use initial in some other code we can do always okay so you start with initial that's a good idea okay right so the syntax of this initial procedural block is initial and begin end so when there are multiple statements you want to use in this initial block you need to use begin end you have to keep those all statements in the begin end so that they will execute one by one if there are no multiple statements you no need to use begin end but generally you will get to multiple statements so you need to use begin end okay so here i told for this uh, half header you will get four combinations see 00011011 okay so when you both inputs are zero zero with respect to two inputs all output should be zero zero when any one is one input sum will be one carry zero when both are ones carry one sum zero okay so now once you have to give this input and you have to check output once you have to give this input and you have to check output once you have to give this input and you have to check and last input and you have to check when you give all these input combinations and when you getting all these outputs correctly then you can say this half adder design working perfectly verified perfectly okay so here you no need to give this input combinations in a order you no need to give zero zero first like that you have to check with all input combinations but you can check in any order initially i started giving with a0 b0 here i given a equal to 1 tick b0 semicolon b equal to 1 tick b0 you can directly give a equal to 0 b equal to 0 no problem that also will work here particularly that 0 i am showing with the binary base and with size also okay and uh, after this semicolon immediately you can write this or below also you can write no problem okay now this tenth line contain two statements because there are because there are two semicolons they can be in single line or in different lines no problem two statements okay now this this semicolon uh, separate these two statements okay so after giving input you have to check the output na so for that you have to write dollar display either you can write to dollar display monitor write or stop display related to see the output if you don't write display related you cannot see the output in the transcript but if you even you don't write this display related and if you use add wave command in the run file you will get to waveform you won't get result in the transcript but you will get waveform 
if you don't write display here and if you don't write add wave command in the run file you won't get transcript and you won't get to waveform also okay na right so after giving input if you want to see the output you have to write some display related constructs here so what is the syntax of this display dollar display normal bracket and it has to end with semicolon you have to start inside bracket double quote and it has to end with a double quote after this double quote you have to, you should write comma and inside this double quote you can write in any way however you want why i wrote a b s c and the time i want to see the time at what time it is executing this input is coming output is coming okay what is the a value i given what is the b value i given what is the s value i am getting what is the c value i am getting at what time it is coming to see that you have to give however you want but you have to mention the base and percentage i want to see this a b s c values in binary so i given binary you can give any base so if this a value is binary it, it no need to be binary it can be same or different no problem and this values also you can give in different base no problem and why i given time equal to percentage 0 t you can give t equal to however you give it will come like that i want to see the display as time equal to so i given like that if you give t equal to it will come as t equal to for time you give the t you have to give the t for variables input outputs you can give binary decimal octal hexadecimal but for time it is fixed you have to give t everywhere you have to maintain percentages okay and why i given zero to avoid the space after display when you get display time equal to space will come if you don't give this uh, zero if you avoid the space if you want to avoid the space you give zero okay that is the purpose i will show after executing okay so here in this thing how many you did this is one from here to here before comma this is one this is one this is one this is one this is one. total five so if there are five in this string you have to write five arguments also here this is one argument dollar time a b s c okay these are called arguments okay right this is the syntax and after giving input and do when you asking output you should maintain some delay between this input and do output taking output okay delay we mention with a construct hash and you, you can write any value why i taken one you can take two or anything no problem and it has to end with semicolon even no semicolon here it will work no problem okay right if you don't maintain delay they will execute at a zero so you will get output as xx even you giving input zero zero if you getting output xx how can you verify how can you know the design correct correctly working or not so you maintain space for proper verification you maintain delay not space okay between each input and output display okay and here i given only one input combination there are three more combinations i have to give na so for that it is looking very a big code but it is very simple what is the logic you just copy paste 10 11 12 lines three more times after 12th line you copy paste okay so this is one time this is one time this is one time three times why three times still there are three more combinations remain that's why okay right see after pasting this delay and display line you can keep everywhere same you can change or you can keep same no problem you no need to edit anything but here input combinations you have to give three other combinations either 0 1 or 1 0 1 1 here i given 0 1 here i given 1 0 here i given 1 1 remaining everything same you can keep as it is no problem you can maintain same delays same syntax different delays or different syntax for display no problem okay right so make sure after each input and display between each input and display there should be a delay okay right now this begin started and it is ended now code completed module and in module code completed i hope you understood okay right now we'll see the run file so this is the run file i already did uploaded lectures on how to do script run file for questa sim and model sim in command mode 
we can go through that i don't want to waste the time by explaining this again okay and here i am not explaining in this lecture how to create this file the simulation process in very detail because i already uploaded simulation process lectures with model sim questa sim eda playground in command mode very detail you can go through that okay right see here i given add wave to get the waveform if i don't give this fourth line in the run file i don't get waveform okay right now we'll run the code and we'll check the output okay i will copy the path control c i will open model sim tool okay now here cd space curly bracket inside control v do run dot do okay just a minute i will connect charger okay do run dot do output came or not okay it is coming we got output we'll check the functionality when i giving 0 0 sum should be 0 carry should be 0 when any one input is 1 sum should be 1 carry should be 0 when both are 1s carry should be 1 sum should be 0 yes functionality correct design is correct okay we verified okay so to check this uh, functionality of this half adder there are four possibilities or four cases four input combinations one is zero zero case zero zero case zero one case one zero case one one so this is each called a test case so as a dv engineer verification engineer, we have to write test cases to verify the design so these are all possible test cases you have to write all possible test cases you have to know what are the test cases to check that uh, functionality that's your duty okay right here we can see the result in the transcript because i given dollar displays in the code either you have to give display related in the design or test when then you will get result in the transcript if you don't give displays then also you will get transcript but you won't get these values because in the transcript we have to see the errors also no okay that's why transcript will come okay and you can see the result in the wave also see right remember here when you keep cursor it will show like a run line this run line should not be zero it should be non-zero if, if it is zero you will not get this wave even you give add wave command in the run file even it is working properly okay make sure that okay i kept 100 you can keep anything okay no problem it will come for some tools it will come automatically okay right so what is the simulation ending time here it is showing like a 4 picosecond same time should show here also last time don't add this all time to know the simulation ending time okay why it is ending at 4 i have not given any dollar finish now in the design in the test bench code so what is the nature of initial we used initial the nature of initial when end detected simulation will end automatically even you don't mention dollar finish but when you using forever or always you have to tell the dollar finish at that time simulation will end so here how much time it is taking to reach this end see from starting to ending this is one this is one two total this is one total three this is one total four at four picoseconds simulation will end automatically without giving any dollar finish so with without always and forever you no need to give dollar finish it means with initial you no need to give dollar finish okay right that's why we are getting that simulation ending time as 4 okay and at each input output you can see the individual time 
this is 1 this is 2 this is 3 this is 4 why it is coming like that when you giving input 0 0 how much time it taken to get that output see in the design the test bench here you given 0 0 to get this output how much delay it is so from starting to this line of course you give delays in the procedural block you can see procedural block from the begin okay so to reach this display statement to execute this display statement it need one one picosecond that's why this input output coming at one this input output coming at two this coming at three this coming at four so you can see the individual time also that also you can see in the integer because I want to see in integer format that's why given dollar time dollar time is to see the timings in integer format and why it come it came like time equal to because in the string I I given time equal to if I give t equal to it may come like t equal to and why comma came because after time equal to percentage zero t I given comma so comma came if I remove comma comma won't be there if I give space there space will be there if I don't give space space won't be there like that however you give string in that way only it will come this display format okay here also you can see this is the first input this is the second input output this is the third input output okay right from here to here this duration okay here you can see what is the this uh, input is high one here also you can see this is also one here also you can see this is zero low this is high here also you can see even you keep cursor here it is showing from three onwards you you can see this uh, last from here to here you will see last combination value like that okay right now we'll do some uh, changes in code we'll uh, do whatever I told whether they are correct or not I will show with the proof okay now I start I starting with the uh, design code so here I told implicitly it is wire I told this uh, a b variables are wire whether it is correct or not I will show I say would not okay I am running yeah it is giving correctly previously without wire and now with wire it is giving same right now I will remove that this is first change I did I removed that change we will do some other things I told this is also wire implicit this SC variables also wire data type but in this case I told you will get error because this SC variables you should not mention as wire data type for two times in this case you have to keep comment here save and run later I will remove comment I will show it will give error now it won't give error yeah it is executing executed perfectly giving output now I will uncomment it should give error okay should not work see it is not working okay I will comment and I told even this without fifth line it will work without fifth line okay previously it is working now now even you remove this wire it will work without fifth line without this uh, wire it will work when you keep where this this is explicit when you don't keep where it this is implicit tool will take any input port output port or in output if it is not mentioned as rich tool will take by default as wire by default means implicit okay now also it will work see I saved so when you make changing make sure you you are saving then only you can understand properly okay okay right now I will uncomment this 
okay i will keep in comment i will show what is uh, implicit so in implicit you no need to you should not write this fifth line and you re you replace this as n with uh, the keyboard where that's it explicit implicit very easy you save and run okay but now with the concatenation it it won't work so that's uh, later we'll do this i will keep as an as an i will uncomment these uh, experiments will do at the end there are some more important things i need to tell you okay now this is explicit only okay and i told this order matters in the concatenation okay now i will change the order with this order i am getting correctly first i will keep s yes, then i will keep c what will happen we'll see you will get to wrongly you won't get correctly if you not giving the proper order okay see here when you give one one carry should be one sum should be zero when you giving any uh, one is one sum should be one it is not working uh, properly okay so this order important so how to know this order correctly so when you doing arithmetic operation when you adding two bits you will write the sum below and carry you will forward that will come at left more side na so always carry should be at the left more side in the concatenation that you remember okay suppose uh, this is with arithmetic operator and this uh, curly bracket is called concatenation i grouped if you write this uh, without concatenation with the uh, arithmetic operator you will get error okay you can separately individ without concatenation you can write with bitwise operators but with arithmetic you should uh, use concatenation then only it will work i will show you that also i am telling with explicit with the concatenation with explicit it will work with concatenation and arithmetic with explicit it will work but with the concatenation with implicit it won't work okay okay anyhow i removed concatenation s equal to a plus b now i will give c equal to a plus b here also i will keep as n this is yes whether we keep this c first or s first that is no matter when you use arithmetic without concatenation it won't work properly i will execute and run see here when you give one one both are zeros coming here when you give any one is one both are one one coming okay na even i keep this as yes this as c won't work properly again it is giving wrong i told na <coughs> okay so with explicit with arithmetic you should use concatenation okay but with explicit with uh, without concatenation you can use bitwise operator how to use bitwise this uh, sum equal to axrb xr means cap this carry equal to a and b ampersand okay now save the code and run it will work correctly
See correctly coming now. Okay. Even you keep carry first or some uh, letter, it will work no problem with uh, without concatenation and with uh, bitwise operators with explicit. But when you use uh, bitwise operators, you cannot use uh, concatenation. You cannot group because both equations are different. Okay. Now. Now I will do same code with uh, implicit. Implicit means in place of uh, as n you have to write wire. In this case they should not be there. I told now we have to remove this. So I commented. Now we'll check. This is implicit. I have to change this explicit is set as implicit. Okay. Anyhow I am not changing. Yeah, it is working fine. Giving correctly. Okay. Even you write to some letter or carry first, it will work. And one more thing, you here you can keep comma. Here semicolon. Here in this case you no need to write as wire again. Now it will work. Say one run. Yeah, correctly given. Even with uh, explicit also, you write as n, and uh, here also as n. You no need to write as n uh, when you keep comma here, but when you keep semicolon, second time also you have to write as n. I will keep as n. In this case, uh, even it is not there, it will execute no problem. I am uncommenting. I saved and I will run. Now it it will also work. <coughs> yeah, it is working fine. Okay. So the conclusion is with explicit, with arithmetic, it will work with the concatenation only. But with implicit, uh, with arithmetic, it won't work with concatenation. Okay, in implicit and explicit, it will work with uh, bitwise operators. When using bitwise operators, you should not use concatenation because uh, both outputs are different, now. Okay, so that's the conclusion. Okay, anyhow, I will keep it uh, as it is as before to avoid the confusion to you okay and this will be a plus b so here i will keep carry comma then ending the bracket concatenation okay now this is explicit only previous however i started at the starting same okay so this is the starting of the code this is the ending of the code design code with explicit data flow style for half header okay now we'll do some more changes here you can use a delay also in this agent statement I am doing without delays in some other code I will tell you with the delay okay now we'll go to test bench code here also we can do so many changes okay I told this uh, instance is compulsory you will get uh, it won't work I told now it is not working and I told uh, you can keep any name you should keep instance name but any name I am giving now DUT one previously DUT now run 
okay now it is working any name you can keep and some more things will do now I'm keeping it as one then I told you suppose uh, I will keep this uh, HA as capital A now I saved and run it will it won't work module name is not same no I given small HA okay so what we can understand from this case sensitivity what is meant by case sensitivity case sensitivity not means small case you can give this capital small or mixed one capital one small but uh, if you give small here maintain everywhere small then only it will sense that is called case sensitivity if you give capital everywhere give capital okay that is meant by case sensitivity keyword should be always in small letters that is uh, okay okay so Verilog is a case sensitive language you have to maintain same case everywhere okay now in the test bench I will remove this A small A I will make it small A now it will work okay and I told this order important in place of this yes I will keep A here I will keep yes okay now it should not work I saved and ran it is not working okay now I will make it as A I will make it as yes now it will work as previous no okay and I told <coughs> this you can write directly 0 I wrote 0 it has to work do run dot do okay correctly correctly coming okay now I told okay you can give any base so I will give like one tick uh, d0 here this a value are given decimal here I am asking in binary it can be same or different okay now also it has to work is working fine okay now okay I will make it as B only as previous then I told if you don't maintain uh, delay it will execute all all will execute at 0 and uh, all outputs will get XX now I told now I will prove see all executing at 0 all outputs are x okay to avoid this problem if you getting x how can you make sure design is correct or not you should know the values no okay so on comment suppose uh, if you don't write even you write to uh, starting delays if you don't write last delay this uh, display also will execute at this time no so you will get to uh, even you giving one one here you will get this output only that I will show so at this uh, here also you have to maintain delay to get proper output see here this is 3 this is 3 here also 1 0 here also 1 0 even it is 1 1 understood so maintain delay here also suppose now if I keep this as uh, 2 how what will be the simulation time 
before 3 now it is 2 total 5 we will check that simulation ending time we will check it should be 5 see here ending time 5 ok and I told if you don't give display you won't get display so I commented this first two, remaining three I will get first I won't get see see first one uh, display not came this is second to third fourth combination ok right if I comment all displays I won't get to in the transcript to these values ok and I told in the run file if I don't give this uh, add wave in the run file to comment you have to use hash you won't get wave I told now I saved and running see wave is not coming even you zoom nothing you can see even run length you keep non zero ok so I will uh, uncomment add wave then I told this uh, if you remove comma if you keep space space will come code will work ok <coughs> working see no comma space came but here comma you kept so comma came so now I will keep a comma here but if you remove this comma you will get error even you maintain space that comma compulsory so it is not working so here give comma and I told here how many are there from here to this comma this is 1 this is 2 this is 3 this is 4 this is 5 S same argument should be there 5 so 5 argument should be there 1 2 3 4 5 I will remove one argument you you should it should not work because you given less arguments so it is not working ok to make it work I can remove this it will work now they both uh, same 4 arguments no? but in this case you won't get time for that first display because you have not uh, asked time no? see for first display no time came suppose uh, I will do one thing if I keep this this dollar time now it will work but it will uh, show time in uh, some 32 bit format suppose uh, when you remove this and when you keep this it is not working but when you remove this when you keep this it is will work but it will show in uh, 32 bit that a uh, time value see 
this time value it is showing time is one now it is showing it is also one but it is not comfortable to observe the output now so always use here like this now you will get properly okay anything is remain we'll check so we given four displays so four four displays coming in the transcript okay so everything completed in some other lectures i will do i will tell more points okay so with this lecture you can understand the completeness about uh, data flow style explicit implicit okay concept is covered but we have to do with a different designs now i did with only half adder no? you may need to take some other design like uh, multiplexer some logic gate some other we mostly do combination circuits only I will do one example with the sequential also and what is the problem with the sequential I will tell okay right